My friend Jim has been giving me a little bit of schlack because I like to run Sons of Behemoth in Age of Sigmar. They're a little bit hard to carry around, so I kind of use a kitchen tree. But he told me off this. He said, no, Sam, you should be using a real army. So I've quickly rummaged in my past and I've found all of these great chaos models. And I'm probably going to go with the Sons of Bellicor, or whatever the list is called. Age of Sigmar expert here. But I need a way to transport all of these models. And this is how I'm going to go about it. What's that? A makeup bag? Well, yes. Stick around if you want to see how I'm going to turn this into an expert carry case. Here, I've gotten myself a couple of bits of equipment. First, some magnetic sheet. Just pick this up off an eBay. You've got various different strengths. If you need a stronger one, it's going to cost you slightly more, but it will be better for big models. Next up, I've got a knife for cutting this with and a safety ruler so I don't chop off my fingertips. Again. Next, we've got some neodymium magnets that you can get off eBay to affix to the bottom of our miniatures bases so that they are magnetised onto the sheet. Then we need something to adhere the base. If you're feeling fancy, you could use a hot glue gun or if you're cheap like me, you could use some double-sided sticky tape. Finally, we'll, we'll need the actual case itself. I'm going to start cutting it away at this. I've measured the dimensions out. There's a picture on screen showing you the exact dimensions so you don't have to go by my horrible mismanagement. Because as you'll see, my straight lines are debatable. My poor father despaired when I was last up in Scotland and he showed me how to use a jigsaw and I couldn't cut straight or draw a straight line even with a ruler. Well, turns out nothing has changed. With these all cut out, I'm going to stick them into the bottom of my case, magnetic trays on each level. The more powerful magnetic sheeting, that's the more expensive one, I'm sticking in the bottom for my heavier models. Now I just need to adhere the magnets onto the base. You could use super glue, you could use green stuff, there's various ways that you could do it. I'm being cheap here and just using blue tack, so that way if I change my mind, I don't have to go and buy more magnets. You'll see that when I put them in here, everything's looking grand. Except when I lower my eyeline a little bit. The depth of my case after I put the magnetic sheet in is 32mm. The problem with this is, most models that are 32mm, I'm looking at you Games Workshop, are actually hero scale. So they're bigger than that. If you look closely, you'll be able to see the fact that my Crute and my Space Marine are popping up over the parapet, for want of a better word. So what I'm going to do is build myself a little lid. This will be good because it will stop it shaking around as much, and whilst you could use it without the lid, it's going to be safer if we do. My first attempt was to take cardboard and try and cut and make my own lid, but as we mentioned before, I can't cut in a straight line, so this actually turned out in disaster. Instead, take your partner out or someone special to you and buy them a nice pair of shoes. Then, when they're not looking, steal the lid for their shoes. I've put inside of it, obviously, my double-sided sticky tape, but a little bit of foam just to give that extra bit of protection. The foam, however, is raised on the base, so it means that it will actually clip the edges of my case before it hits the models, or at least that's the idea. Now, when I try and close my base, I can have all of my Chaos Warriors, all of the Barbarians, and all the Flagellants fitting in nicely. If I unzip it for you, a little bit of snagging, I need to do a little bit more work on that lid. But if I unzip here, you'll be able to see all my layers of miniatures. Expanded out, I've got my next layer of shorter miniatures, or maybe dice, rulers, anything like that that you want to take. And then at the bottom, you've got your big miniatures. Now, unfortunately, whilst it does fit things like Bellicor, it won't fit something like a knight. So we're just out of luck there. Another option would have been to actually swap out the cantilevers and flip over the top two lids. This would have given me a far deeper case of 64 mils, except I didn't have any spare cantilevers. And these ones are welded in, so they're not reusable. So what did this all cost? Well, the case here... I got from Home Bargains, you can also buy it from the website, for £10, which is about $14. The magnetic sheeting I picked up from £2 from our local hobby store, and all the rest I had lying around, so I'm not going to really count the double-sided sticky tape. The final result, I've got this nice little compact case with its own carry handle and strap that comes with the box that could fit over 100 models. Big models, dice, anything you need. If you've enjoyed this, give it a like and subscribe. Click here if you want tips on how to use speed paint and contrast, or click here to see a video that YouTube's recommend.